What's up guys, welcome to your 193rd Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do in this tutorial is basically set up our seek bar and adjust our volume. Um, so it's going to be uh, pretty much completing this activity. Um, and just to make reference of why we set up the max value and the current value, is what we're going to do is we're going to access our seek bar and we're going to say, hey, the maximum value is going to be the same as the maximum value of our audio manager or the maximum value our phone will allow and then why we set the current value is right when our activity starts we're going to set this bar equal to wherever the current volume is on the person's phone and then what we're going to do is we're going to use that method called on progress change and when we you know change the progress of our bar it's actually going to change the volume of of the person's device through again the audio manager so that's pretty much what we're going to do in this tutorial. So let's drop, uh, let's jump right into it. And again, what we need to do is we need to set the maximum value of our seek bar. Um, if you guys aren't using, you know, uh, the volume, you can set this to whatever, like a thousand. And then, you know, uh, as your progress changes, you can get that value, that int value. Like if you're halfway through, that'd be like 500 or something. But since we're working with volume, we want to have it equal to the maximum volume. Uh, that we can get through our audio manager. So what we're going to say is we're going to say SB for seek bar and then we're going to say set max and this is the maximum volume again. This is the highest our seek bar is going to allow us to go and what we want to set this maximum volume to equal is basically the maximum volume um, or I'm sorry, what we want this max value to equal is the max value um, or the max volume um, that we can run. So again we can't go any higher than the maximum volume here and again that's why we set up that int and now what we need to do is we need to set where we want the progress bar to start and we're gonna set that equal to again wherever the current position is or the current volume on the person's phone is so we're gonna say SB dot set progress and again it takes an int value and that's why we set up our current volume so there we go and all we have left to do pretty much is basically use this on progress change method and as you can see we get some values and uh, I'm gonna change the, this reference here at least to broad progress um, because again that's gonna return uh, basically where our progress bar is at and that's how we're gonna set our volume so uh, again just for reference let's say we set our max volume to a thousand and we set our current volume to you know like a hundred or something um, when we move our progress bar uh, let's say we start at 100, we move it halfway, so that'd be 500. Uh, it pass in this int, um, it pass in 500 to this on progress change, so we can basically work with the progress of the bar. And that's pretty much what we're going to do with our audio manager. We're going to refer to our audio manager, and then we're just going to say set stream volume, and we're going to set that equal to uh, the type that we want it to affect. So we're going to say audio uh, manager dot stream music um, and it, again that's just the type of you know volume that we're working with because you know we have like the media volume and um, also like the ringer volume all those kind of things that we could potentially do so we want to say it's the you know the music that we're working with and then what we want to change it by or what we want to set it to is again our progress of our progress bar so we're just gonna say progress that's being passed in and our flags we're going to set to zero and I believe that should be it um, again just to talk through everything and then we'll run our application make sure it works As again we set up a progress bar we set the max value that our progress bar can go to basically the max value um, of our maximum volume again we got the maximum volume as an int because we referred to the audio manager class to get the maximum value that's allowed and, uh, and then we also did that with the current volume and we're going to set our progress bar wherever the current volume is and then when we change the progress bar we have this listener uh, which is just going to you know set the stream volume again through the audio manager and uh, you know we're going to change this type of stream which is music and according to the progress on our seek bar so hopefully that makes sense let's run our application turn it up here we're going to go down to our seek bar volume as you can see the volume starts about right here it's not at the maximum volume and I'll just mess around with this hopefully you guys can hear
and see we again we can just you know mess with the music um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that tutorial I know it's kinda simple uh, but I wanted to show the seek bar and also how we can mess around with the system volume um, because you know that could be useful to someone anyway so uh, thanks again for watching guys and we're pretty much gonna do the finishing touches of our of our application um, throughout the remainder of this series again add ads and put it on the marketplace and update it on the marketplace so uh, thanks again for watching guys and catch you in the next tutorial